There's a new study on time-restricted eating, aka intermittent fasting. It's an interesting study, and as your friendly neighborhood coach, I'm, I'm here to break it down. This study randomly assigned 139 patients with obesity to one of two weight loss interventions. One group did time-restricted eating, so only eating between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m., while also restricting calories, and the other group did daily calorie restriction alone. So, so for a full year, all participants were instructed to follow a calorie-restricted diet consisting of 1,500 to 1,800 calories per day for men and 1,200 to 1,500 calories per day for women. Essentially, you guys, you guys control your calories and do intermittent fasting. You guys, you just focus on controlling your calories, controlling your intake. So what was the outcome? Is intermittent fasting better or will calorie restriction, calorie control alone suffice? Those of you who understand physics, specifically thermodynamics, are probably going to think that there's there's not going to be a big difference here as the calories there, they were quitted for. And you'd be right. After one year, the main weight loss was minus eight kilos in the time restriction, intermittent fasting group, and minus 6.3 kilos in the daily calorie restriction group. So both approaches were successful, and the difference between the two isn't statistically significant. Intermittent fasting was also no more beneficial for reducing fat or metabolic risk factors than daily calorie restriction alone. So this has led many people to state that there is... There is zero benefit to taking an intermittent fasting approach, which it's 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 not true. There's no advantage, but there can be benefits. Intermittent fasting can be a great tool to facilitate a calorie deficit. It can make it easier to keep within your calories, and and that's that's ace. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I recommend or advocate or practice intermittent fasting, but. I do tend to avoid eating in the evening. Why? Well, when when I when I eat in the evenings, I, I tend to overindulge, like many of us do. Even in snacks, like a giant bag of Doritos, it's it's a little too good. So for this reason, I generally avoid eating in the evenings. My my, my body's now used to not eating in the evenings, so I I don't really get hungry at that time. I don't get cravings. For me, this this works really well. Nothing magical happening here. When, when, I'm, when I'm not eating in the evenings, or, or even if I extend the fast and, and skip breakfast, yes, during the fast, I'll be burning fat as an energy source, but as we can see from this study and multiple other studies, it ultimately comes down to the calories. If you consume fewer calories than your body needs to maintain its current energy stores, maintain its current body fat, you will lose weight. That doesn't mean intermittent fasting is redundant. If you, if, if, if you need to lose fat, you should use whatever tools you can find to help you achieve a net calorie deficit. If intermittent fasting is one of those tools, if it works for you, then stick with it. On the, on the other hand, if you're currently practicing intermittent fasting and despise it, you, you don't like going extended period of time without eating, you despise not eating in the evenings or skipping breakfast, then I have some great news. You don't need to. There is no fat loss advantage. So all you need to do is focus on controlling your calories and you'll be you'll be absolutely fine.